So uh, let's look at the distribution that is uh, making folks go uh, mad online. Windows Ubuntu 11. Oh, Ubuntu 11. Yes. The distro that looks more like Windows than Windows. So for obvious reasons, many reviews, uh, I want to stay clear of this and I'm not going to steer you towards it. But uh, it has been shown to be doing some sneaky things on network traffic. So if you, you know, want to risk your traffic, uh, try it. Not saying that's the truth, you'll just have to judge it for yourself. Uh, the one thing I will criticize, though, is the fact that they ask for money. Yes, that's right. You can get your system updated, uh, but you first have to go ahead and pay. What I've done in the meantime is I've actually I've installed this. I've gone ahead and I've updated it, and we're going to take a look. So straight out of the box, of course, it looks very Windows 11-y. Some widgets going on here. I'm going to close that. A weather report search thing. Here, of course, if you want to search your machine. Doesn't seem to do much. Ah, it does. It actually opens up uh, KRunner. And, of course, we have the App Store. And we also have... Dolphin, KDE's file manager, and here we have chat, which of course if you click on chat, takes you to Microsoft Teams, which is also available for Linux, so that's why of course that's there. Same goes for Edge, using the uh, Linux version of uh, Microsoft uh, Edge. And interestingly, if you click on Copilot, it takes you to... Microsoft Copilot, aka part of Bing as well, I take it. So here it is. So we can just close that. So from that point of view, it's really going to confuse the user. Now, we did look at this before, but of course it wasn't uh, this version. And if you go to the settings portion of it, uh, you'll see uh, it supports snap packages and uh, flash packs, which you can just enable. And clicking here. Got a good uh, imitation of the Windows taskbar, which of course you can install that on any uh, KDE. It's the just a plugin shows you can center it on the edge, etc. And they have of course gone ahead and used the Windows icon. Yeah, so if I click on that and I go to all apps, uh, you're going to see Android subsystem. Uh, the irony, of course, is uh, that is going to soon be removed from actual Windows in upcoming releases. If I go to display configuration, normal uh, KDE's module. Okay. Now, obviously, the icon pack is a Microsoft icon pack. I mean, this, that goes without saying here. I mean, Dolphin ha even has Explorer's icon set. They've got Google Chrome as well. Kmail which failed promising and I you have to give credit here I mean only office center using the Microsoft office uh, icon set and of course if you were to quickly open up only office and you didn't know better uh, does have a similarity with Microsoft office so I suppose someone could go oh the new version of Microsoft office okay let's carry on uh, deep diving here Let's open up console. Uh, no offense to command thing here. Disappointing. Ah, even a little Windows logo under NeoFetch. So we're using Kernel 5.15. That's getting a little long on the tooth. It is an LTS edition though. And it is Windows Ubuntu or Windows Ubuntu 11.44. And it's only using almost uh, 1200 megs of memory. It's not too bad, actually. If I click on System Monitor, uh, something will happen. Uh, yes, it opens up, of course, KDE's normal System Monitor. Even if I just click on Applications there. Steam pre-installed, Remote Desktop Client. Ah, actual Remote Desktop Client. Pretty old one, but I guess it must work. 
hopefully it's uh and then of course they have the online links for microsoft outlook word and powershell of course also installed which is uh, also available for Linux. Oh, oh, I am not signing into that. So they have pre-installed Wine Tricks as well to run some Windows applications at the box if you can. Uh, let's configure desktop and wallpaper while we wait for that to load. Just install the mono installer. I just actually wanted to see the different wallpapers they have. Just a whole different bunch of them. Finally got the power toys thing open. So as you can see here, this tool, whatever they've done here is ready to mimic Windows. Um, and if you click on anything here, it usually just opens up the KDE equivalent. Really. It's, it's something else. I give it that. Uh, device, I mean, really, really try to confuse folks. Um, you know, which is, which is not great. You know, that's what I don't like. Um, you know, apart from other, like check here. Uh, clearly using the name. Um, and then of course, the thing is, uh, this whole updates, Power Toys Insider Program. What? Different updates for different things that aren't working. It's just bizarre. And you can see it goes to a link that doesn't even load properly. And then I think what gets me is this whole, it's not activated. So you click and verify. And then it wants you to buy a license. Again, I think it's forty dollars or something, but but still. So, all of my comments on this. Well, I really don't suggest you use this, as I already mentioned, uh, just because of you know what's out there, and also. On the other hand, I have to say, it's amazing how much they've made it look like Microsoft Windows and. It would be great if, you know, this didn't have controversy around it. Same with uh, uh, Linux FX and all of these histories. And, you know, it would be great to actually have a Linux distro that does look pretty much like Windows. Maybe not exactly. And uh, be a great guy to help new users adapt to it. I think it would be, it would be really great. But, you know, using them like Ubuntu and uh, Ubuntu Windows and that, I mean... It's deliberately meant to, to be, you know, that's going to confuse people. Windows Ubuntu. There's going to be that person out there, and that's what I, what annoys me. Who's going to fall for this? And I shouldn't. And that's what gets me, uh, is that even the website is designed to, uh, just to confuse someone. And unfortunately, it's probably going to do that. So I really, really. Uh, wish that hope and future that you know these developers or developer goes you know down a maybe a slightly different path make the uh, make you know make a linux distro that does look like windows but doesn't have any weirdness to it um so people don't have doubts and don't call the thing windows uh ubuntu please don't do that that's just you're just trying to confuse folks but on the other hand, I have to say, great work to what the developers have managed to achieve, you know? I suppose it's kind of like buying a graphics card from uh, some websites, and it's not actually the graphics card that you expected. It's amazing on how it looks on the outside, but uh, not quite what it should be on the inside. Folks, do you use this? Have you used this? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching, and bye for now.